Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. It's getting dark out here. I'm uh, at the pilot, ready to take to have my lunch. And today being uh, Monday meals, I just thought I should share with you a little bit about what I have. Right here, I have uh, those are just potatoes and sausage. That is a very easy meal to make. All I did was um, I just made it in the oven. So all you do is just cut up the potatoes the way you want them. And then you, 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 you boil them for just a little, a few minutes, just to kind of get them a little bit soft. You don't want to over boil them. So you just want to, to boil them just for a few minutes. Actually, what, what you do when you put the potatoes in water, uh, personally, I also want to put a little bit of salt so that they can soak in that salt and then just put them on boil as soon as the water starts to boil you take them off and drain them in the meantime as i was doing that as i was boiling uh, the potatoes i cut up the sausage and put it in the oven just like that on a tray in the oven so when um, you put it like on maybe like 370 right uh, the sausages you put the oven at 370 so when uh, when the potatoes just start to boil i take them off drain them and then put them on the tray where the sausage is i sprayed on like a cooking spray and then just uh, seasoned with uh, salt a little bit of salt now you have to be careful if you put some salt in the water as you boil the potatoes be careful when you are now again putting salt on them you don't want to use a lot of salt uh, so I put salt, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper, and then put them back in the oven. I just kept checking on them until everything is done. The sausages and the potatoes, and they came out really nice. Now, this is for those of you guys maybe who are home, uh, but what about for our friends who are over the road? Um, one of the things that is challenging is really eating good when you are over the road. Um, first and foremost, it can be very expensive. It's not hard for you to spend like 30, 40, <coughs> sometimes even $50 a day when you are on the road just eating because the food is expensive. And uh, when you think of breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner maybe some snacks and then drinks before you know it that adds up really really fast so uh, first and foremost some of the food out there it may not be as healthy as you would want it to be so uh, figuring out a way of uh, what to uh, planning your meals for uh, on the road can be a little bit challenging uh, but one of the things personally I love to eat um, are eggs. Uh, I love eating eggs. Maybe that's because I also love bread. So I, I, I kind of put my eggs with bread. But I mean, I can, I can have eggs for breakfast. I can have eggs for lunch. I can have eggs for dinner. It doesn't matter what time of the day I can eat uh, eggs. I usually prefer them uh, like fried or uh, omelette more than, um, uh, more than boiled eggs. For those of you uh, that are over the road, you already know how expensive uh, those sandwiches. Like if you, you look in the truck stop and you see those egg sandwiches that have like maybe egg and sausage or egg and, and, and um, turkey or whatever it is. Those can be expensive. They're like, like a sandwich is like what, $4 or $5. Um, and those are not even fresh. You don't know how long the egg has been there. Like... You don't know if, uh, how many days, right? You can be able to make your own. And uh, just the good thing is uh, that truck stops provide us with microwave uh, microwaves. So all you need is get yourself a microwavable bowl. Buy yourself some eggs if you want bread. Buy yourself bread. You can buy yourself some of those luncheon meals like maybe turkey or... Um, or whatever it is you know like the luncheon eggs in case you want to add uh, that and make your own sa sandwich but you get your bowl and uh, just break the eggs put them in there 
Uh, what you want to do is if you have some milk and uh, you want to add a little bit of milk if you don't have milk i suggest you add a little bit of water to the eggs and then just whisk that with um uh, don't forget to add like pepper and salt if you want some even uh, onion powder uh just for you know like for seasoning for taste and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in the microwave and every about maybe 15 seconds you want to uh, take it out and then stir it and then put it back in for another 15 seconds take it out stir it and continue to do that until you get the consistency that you want personally um, i like it well done so you get your consistency that you want now if you want to add um, uh, something like maybe um, like turkey breast in there you can even put it in there as you as you cook it right but you will get yourself some um some good eggs and then you can just make your sandwich that will end up being less expensive because when you think about it you can buy like what a dozen of eggs and some bread uh, and it will still maybe even cost you <laughs> it may even end up costing you less than what that sandwich will cost you so that's one thing you can use uh to make yourself uh, some breakfast or lunch or dinner make your own eggs and then make a sandwich out of that so hopefully that is something that will help you uh, uh, out there on the road uh, in case you didn't know about uh, making eggs in the microwave yes you can make eggs in the microwave and that will save you a lot of money all right guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye